Tonight's food for the reef tank is going to be these items right here. This is a cube of blood worms. Some of the rods, uh, polyp poppers. I always think of fish eggs. Then the original blend rods food. Some PE mysis. Um, a little bit of spirulina brine shrimp. And some mysis shrimp. I like to have lots of little bites for my fish. This is how much I use tonight. This is going to go into the anemone cube, the 400 gallon reef. Uh, feed the clown in the refugium and feed all the fish in the quarantine tank. So I'm going to get a little tank water. And this can melt for a little bit. Time to hit the feed button. Now we're going to feed the fish. I give them a few squirts from a pipette. Then I gotta feed my poor little clownfish who's all by herself in here. And I squirt some food into the anemones as well because this is the only source of food they're gonna get in this refugium. And I know that since she can swim in and out of the tentacles, I'm not really worried about getting food specifically to her mouth every single time. She can go peck it right out of the anemones. We're gonna feed the frag tank, which continues to be neglected by me because I am the worst hobbyist in the world. I'm ju I just want to reset this tank. There's a bunch of fish in there and they need to be fed. It just, I need a massive water change and just pull the rock. And I like to pour a little bit of food right in front of this Vortec pump to hopefully get a little bit to land on the eight cans, which I know is a little bit overly optimistic, but <laughs> I just do it. Because there's little eggs and stuff in here, a little bit of coral poppers. Back in here for these guys to get another bite. And that is the food I feed to this tank.